Hey everyone, welcome back to Raccoon Bay, all things Shopify website design via your mobile device. Today we're going to discuss blog posts and creating a blog post for your website. Whether you want to talk about your brand, talk about uh, your company, or you just want to blog about anything, um, say you're a food blogger or a fashion blogger or whatever, you can do all those things on Shopify too. So we'll go down to the bottom, on the bottom right, click on store. Scroll down, click on online store. Scroll down, click on blog posts. Now, if this is your first time creating a blog on your Shopify site, it will prompt you with create a blog post. As you can see here, uh, you can put title. Let's say we're talking about food, the best food in town. Well, edit those. The best food in town. Like most um, writing type uh, programs, you have options for uh, how you want your paragraphs to be, if you want certain sizes for your heading, um, if you want to bold italicize, if you want to change the color of your font, if you want to align it in the center of the sides. Uh, you can create tables, you can add images. Uh, when you're adding the images, you can even change the size of the image. So if you wanted small, tiny, big, um, banners, an entire background as a wallpaper, you have all those options here. Uh, you can add video snippets. You can hyperlink. It's not highlighted because I haven't highlighted a word, but on this little chain looking chain link looking icon next to the table icon you can highlight a word click on that similar to how we did on a product page uh, if you see back a couple videos when we did product listing um, you can hyperlink to which is basically you add an uh, option to a word or words to direct you to a different place uh, say you wanted to hyperlink to your website saying hey you know if you like this blog post and you want to see my socials uh, check out my Instagram and then you'd highlight Instagram click on the chain link type in your Instagram address and it would put it there So that's basically it. I mean, it's like uh, any blog type thing uh, or anything you're writing on in a, in a app type program where you can you know write a bunch of stuff add photos here add photos there Shopify has an area we can have themes for your blogs uh, and themes for pages so that can help you if you don't want to try to design it yourself. You can kind of have a, a theme that helps you uh, in guiding you to do that. After you've finished all that, or say uh, you wanted to just uh, check out some other things, you can add an excerpt. So an excerpt is when you go to the blog pages on your menu, you would see you click on blogs and it'll give you a new page that shows all the blogs you've written and the blog excerpt says you know this blog is about food i hope you uh are hungry check out this site all about food and the next one is you know i did a write-up on all things um steak related or all things gluten-free or whatever the case is uh, so just a little quick description so people don't have to click on every blog post that you've done to see what it's about. Here's your SEO. Uh, we will talk about SEOs in a later video, but that just helps um, Google, Yahoo, any search website uh, figure out what your site is about or what your post is about so that people can find it easier. And you have the option to make it visible or hidden. Say it's a blog post that you're working on and you want to save it for later. Uh, you just keep it hidden. That way people don't come to your blog post and see only a half done thing. Your featured image will show up on that blog post site that I told you, or page that I told you about where people click on your blog posts from your menu. Uh, and then they see a bunch of different blog posts you've done. Here would be the image that would go with that little excerpt that we talked about right here. Uh, you can put who created it, uh, blog. This is basically how it organizes um, your blogs. So you can have sections of blogs. Say that you talk about food and you have a bunch of blogs about food and then you talk about working on cars and you have a, a 
a section on working on cars, this would be how you would organize that and you would just go down and create a new blog. You'd enter the blog name, say all about cars or all about food, so that it can organize where your blog posts are going better for people to find. You can have tags if you want in case people are on your, light, on your site searching for tags. Uh, down here is your theme. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if um, our current theme has blog post themes, but there are many free themes that Shopify provides that ha are specific to blog posting. So I would check all those themes out. So yeah, that's basically a quick rundown of uh, adding a blog post to your site. Uh, in the next video, uh, I will show you if you want to add your blog post to your main menu, because that is always an option too. So if you found this helpful, please click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And thanks for watching.